Hello there everybody, it's pretty close between the videos right now, but uh, I listened to a documentary uh, slash interview uh, made by Swedish radio a couple of years ago with uh, Chaka Khan uh, and uh, that documentary was so great and so interesting that I got uh, inspired of doing another uh, collection series where I was showing my collection of a certain artist and of course then I'm going to do my tribute to a fantastic artist Chaka Khan uh, and Rufus uh, since he was so big part of Rufus I decided to bring them along also even those two albums that are not uh, that Chaka Khan is not featured on I decided to also have along here uh, it felt so stupid to leave them out <laughs> since I'm showing every, every Rufus album uh, else, so why not? Uh, Chaka Khan, an amazing artist that I, just like I guess many other else in my age, discovered through um, uh, I Feel For You. Chaka, 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 chaka Khan, Chaka Khan, Chaka Khan. Uh, a song that actually was the very first and only song that I tried to uh, do breakdowns to. Uh, it was in the... Uh, I was in the fifth grade uh, and uh, they were going to have some kind of uh, event at a school where they uh, actually... where we're going to perform and I was new to that school uh, not knowing what to do and uh, the teacher uh, convinced me that, hey, why don't you hook up with Thomas and Michelle here and then you can do breakdowns. It didn't go all that good. Uh, I, I was uh, not all that good at this. And, it, uh, and we, I was supposed to then do breakdowns to uh, I Feel For You by Chaka Khan. Uh, and it ended with that when I'm going to do, when I was going to do The Worm, I hit the chin right down at the, f at the floor <laughs> and with that uh, and with many pe many uh, pupils <laughs> teasing me for that I gave up my career as a break dancer for good uh, but still uh, I feel for you of course is huge nostalgia uh, so uh, uh, with that I started to interest for Chaka Khan, even though I not, did, wasn't seen as a collector of Chaka Khan's albums first, uh, I liked the song that I heard, but she wasn't an artist that I uh, felt like I needed to have all with. Uh, not until I started to collect um, 70s, a couple of years ago, uh, and I heard a radio program, another radio program, uh, in Swedish radio, the called I huvud på Chaka Khan in in the mind of of Chaka Khan from two, 1992 93 I think uh, that, when I heard that uh, program again uh, a couple of years ago I realized that hey I want to start to collect Chaka Khan and, and Rufus uh, and uh, such an amazing artist she has gone through so much uh, during her life Chaka Khan and uh, she said during the interview that if she didn't become a singer she never knew what she would wind up as if she would wind up as uh, selling tickets or if she would become a serial killer or if she was would would uh, commit suicide she never knew singing is her life uh, and uh, she has survived so much and uh, around 10 15 years ago she became sober for the first time uh, after years of, of um, uh, probably with alcohol and drugs uh, so she is definitely a survivor an amazing uh, musical character and musical artist and, and uh, let's tribute her by showing uh, my collection that is not complete but it's uh, pretty big anyway at least when it comes to full-length albums 
by the way, I thought Chaka Khan actually was pretty old by now, <laughs> but uh, I saw that she, she's just 65. Uh, my mother is a couple of years older, uh, so I was pretty shocked knowing that Chaka Khan is, uh, is not around 78 years old, which I thought from the beginning. Uh, so, let's start with the singles I have, and those are not many. Uh, I want that that is my one hole that I hope to fill for 2019 uh, to to hook up with vinyl tag uh, more singles with Chaka Khan <laughs> and of course all of them are from I feel for you period and forward uh, and speaking of I feel for you here it is Chinatown at the b-side uh, Chaka Khan, uh, here my opinions uh, divides with, with the artist herself because Chaka Khan is not all that uh, pleased with, with uh, I feel for you. Uh, she, she, uh, th this was a period where, where uh, the record label uh, wanted her to come up with something big and selling or she would be dropped from the company. Uh, and. Uh, Arif Martin came up with the idea then to involve more synthesizer, make more disc cover, uh, and uh, make her even more commercial so that they did uh, I Feel For You. Uh, she dis doesn't like uh, Grandmaster Mel Mel being in the beginning, she says, uh, and uh, you can say what you want, but it's making this song pretty characteristic. But I love this song. I love this period. I love the album. I feel for you. I was going to, but we're going to come back to later on. Uh, the follow-up to that uh, single was this. This is my night. Uh, here we have a single that I actually. This is not one of her best songs, but but uh, it is from a motion picture uh, called Crush Groove. And the song is also called uh, is called Crush. Uh, can't stop the street. Can't stop the street from the Crush Guru movie. Not one of my favorite songs by her, but but uh, still, it's a con. And from the Miami Vice television series, I Own the Night from nineteen eighty five. Coming to actually a couple of 12 inch that I have. Here we have uh, Love You All My Lifetime. And we have not the perfect sleeve, but still Earth to Mickey. And Earth to Mickey from 1987. From 1988 and the CK album, It's My Party. So, those were my Chaka Khan singles. Let's go for the big ones, the albums. The debut with Rufus, then uh, known only as Rufus. That I bought at Sierra Nevada last year. Pretty great album, this one. I'm not going to say that it is uh, the absolute best Rufus album, but but still, it's a really really great album. Uh, missing Rags to Rufus from '74. Missing. Rufusized, also from 74. Then we go to 1975, and Ru the, then the band has been known to as Rufus featuring Chaka Khan. Uh, a name change made by the label, uh, and which she, uh, Chaka Khan has said she, she didn't like that one bit because she wanted to be a part of a band, and by setting her as featuring, she felt like she wasn't a part of the band actually, uh, and uh, so she never liked this featuring Chaka Khan ad, according to the, this uh, documentary. Uh, 
bought this in uh, in Umeå record fair we have uh, ask Rufus uh, one of the more uh, no well known Check out Rufus and Chaka Khan albums. Uh, this one you have seen. I nominated it for Best Soul in my awards. Uh, and uh, I bought it also in Uppsala. You saw it in my Uppsala videos. Uh, Street Player from 1978. Also a magnificent, great, great, great album. Album that I really, really like. I'm going to say that my Chaka Khan collection goes uh, to 1992. Unfortunately, I don't have any newer Chaka Khan. Uh, really want to get a hold of it because I know she, she has recorded with both Prince and Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis and recorded jazz albums. So it really would be fun to find these albums somewhere down the line. <laughs> uh, here's an, uh, the first album Rufus released uh, without Chaka Khan. Uh, she has released her debut solo album as by the, then which I, of course, don't have. I said in Vinyl Tag that I hope to find it during the year. Uh, numbers from 1979. Uh, something missing here. I'm not going to say that it's a bad album. It's definitely not. It's a good album. It's a really good album, but not, uh, of course, in the same level as uh, with those with Chaka Khan. Uh, she adds something definitely to, to um, the band, but it's definitely not as bad as uh, they, w they uh, wanted it to have, like, uh, it was a, not a big uh, success. It wound up only as 81 at the American album chart, but, but uh, it's, it's not that bad. It's, it's, pre it's pretty good, actually. It's really good, actually, but... Would be even better if Chaka Khan was doing the vocal, which she did on the next left album. This one is maybe my absolute favorite Chaka Khan album with Rufus, uh, because it's produced by Quincy Jones, and Quincy Jones with uh, Rufus, what a combination! And I have actually had no idea, but this documentary reveals something that I uh, didn't know actually. It was really fun to find out that Rufus is actually playing in the back of Michael Jackson's Off the Wall. Uh, I never knew that. I should have <laughs> understood that since both are released at the same time and by the same producer. But Master Jam that I bought at the record fair a couple of years ago is such a fantastic and great, great Chaka, uh, Rufus and Chaka Khan album. Really funky, real smooth. Uh, and, of course, with the magnificent production of Quincy Jones. And also, the final studio album with Chaka Khan, Camouflage, uh, from 1981. And by then, Chaka Khan has, had realized that she, she she didn't fit in the band anymore, uh, both because that uh, she felt that she wasn't a part of the band uh, anymore, and she wanted to try her wings on her own. So uh, this was the final uh, studio album with Rufus uh, by Chaka Khan. Uh, Rufus released a couple more albums. The, their final was this one, uh, Seal in Red from 1983. I haven't listened to it, <laughs> the complete yet, but I listened to quick peeks of it and it, it doesn't sound all that bad either. 
it was also an album that didn't even make the, the American album chart, but it's uh, not all that bad. It's a pretty good album, the little I've heard. And Rufus and Chaka Khan reunited, of course, then. Uh, they released some, um, uh, some remixes back in 1988, but most of all, 1983, they did this live album, Stomping at the Savoy, uh, which contains uh, the hits and a, and a great live concert. Double album set. But let's go back and uh, to uh, Chaka Khan solo career. Uh, as I said, missing the debut album. Uh, and uh, then came in 1980 Naughty, which is a real great, great album. Uh, here she had started to work with Arif Martin, uh, which would uh, follow her through the 80s. Uh, Arif Martin, she in the documentary called her uncle and said that she missed him every day. Uh, and this is, as I said, this is a magnificent, great, great Chaka Khan album. And he has also he have also produced the follow up. What you gonna do for me? bought in Stockholm uh, back in 2014 I think uh, then we have this one uh, this is uh, a self-title from 1982 uh, Missing Echoes of an Era that was released it was a special jazz album where she sings jazz covers uh, Chaka Khan wanted to be a jazz singer, in most of all, uh, but uh, I think that uh, uh, and safety and, and uh, he was willing to work for uh, women and black women drove her to uh, being more of a soul, uh, funk soul singer instead. But uh, she had done a lot of jazz. Uh, songs also, including then this album, Echo Sonera, and I hope to get a hold of one day. Uh, this is uh, from 1982. A great one, definitely. Yet another Arif Martin production. And of course, I feel for you. Uh, as I said, it was um, uh, Live or Die, <laughs> a career-saving album, more or less, even though she never, she didn't like this one, but I think definitely this is one of the best soul albums ever, uh, and I really love this one, such an amazing production. I had this album for many, many years, uh, and uh, listened to it numerous times. It's definitely an old se uh, 80s soul classic. Uh, coming to 1986, and she released uh, Destiny, with including these songs that I showed at 12 inch, uh, Love You All My Lifetime and uh, Earth to Mickey. Uh, also, Arif Martin. Uh, we have. Uh, one of the first albums that is not produced by um, uh, solo albums is not produced by uh, Arif Martin. It's produced by Ross Tillman and Prince is also among these ones. This one uh, in 1988 we have CK. I know someone had written uh, on the sleeve when I bought it, but I have special guest artists take a look at this. George Benson, Miles Davis. Bobby McFerrin, Prince, Brenda Russell, Stevie Wonder, the elite of soul and jazz and funk. And finally, 
the newest Chuck Khan album I have, which doesn't say a lot, doesn't say anything since it's from 1992. Uh, but uh, as I said, I hope to find more modern Chuck Khan albums down the line. Uh, the Woman I Am from 1992. So, that was my Rufus and Chaka Khan collection. Uh, I don't have all that much missing after all. So, uh, at least when it comes to Rufus and Chaka Khan and, and uh, during the 70s and 80s. So, uh, with the exception for the singles, of course, that is uh, missing a lot. I still don't have one single Rufus and Chaka Khan single, 7 inch. So with that, I hope that you enjoyed my walk through my Chaka Khan collection, a tribute to a magnificent artist in my book. So until next time, I hope that each and one of you have a real nice time. It's soon time for another vinyl CD update. Uh, I don't know when, but hopefully during the weekend. So everybody take care and so long.